Years ago, a young mom and her unborn child were stabbed to death. Her brother-in-law was convicted. Then, 13 years later, he was exonerated by DNA evidence. That DNA belongs to someone else detectives are yet to identify. New at 6, Action News Jack's Lorena Inclan spoke to the victim's parents who say they just want to know what happened to their daughter before they die. This poster right here from Project Cold Case shows only a fraction of the unsolved homicides in our area. If you take a look closer, you may remember this face right here, Tina Hines. It's a case that has haunted not only her family, but investigators who to this day are still trying to solve her case. This is one of the last known photos of 20-year-old Tina Hines. The Wisconsin native moved to Jacksonville in the 90s along with her husband who was in the Navy. On April 17, 1994, Tina and her unborn baby were found stabbed to death. Her husband was away working at Naval Station Mayport. Ryan Backman, the founder of Project Cold Case, right. tell us it's one of the most complex cases he's come across. We typically don't have cases where somebody has been arrested, charged, convicted, and then released 13 years later. Chad Hines, Tina's brother-in-law, lived with them at the time at this apartment complex in Atlantic Beach. Hines was in the apartment the night of the killings, but claims to have slept right through it. She was stabbed 27 times uh, in her home. But Hines was convicted and sentenced to prison. In 2007, he was exonerated on DNA evidence that found someone else was inside the apartment. Tina's parents started a memorial scholarship in her honor that helps raise money for low-income students to attend the private school she once attended. 2012, we had one at the... A benefit. A benefit. $20,000. I asked them if they believe Chad Hines is innocent. I really don't know. I, can't, I couldn't answer one way or the other because I really don't know. Tina's dad tells me his life has never really gotten back on track since his daughter's murder 25 years ago. He and his wife say they just want to know who and why. We just hope it's in our lifetime. Lorena Inclan, CBS 47, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.